After my conversion from crime to Christ or Christianity, I studied the scriptures and classical Christian literature to educate myself and then joined the Beat and Strict and Particular Baptists in 1976. I was an outsider and had no traditional background to cloud my views. I have experienced many things since then and have written about these in my book Beat and Strict and Particular Baptists that tells the whole story of my conversion from crime to Christ and coming to a fuller knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. Ah, it's my dad's book. Look, I'm going to give him a call. Dad, we've just found your book in Blackwell's. Tell me about it, because I want to tell all my friends at school. OK, I'm driving at the moment. All right. But I can carry on talking as I'm hands-free. Tell me about it, because I want to tell my friends at school. OK, well, the one you've seen in Blackwell's is my earlier book, Converted on LSD Trip, the second edition. But the one I've told you about is due out in October, and it's called Beat and Strict and Protect the Baptists. Right. Well, that sounds a strange title. Tell me what it's all about. OK. Like John Bunyan, who wrote his story The Pilgrim's Progress when he was in prison, I too chart my life, along with that of my brother Michael, your uncle. I tell of my spiritual journey and also that of Michael. And our conversions from crime to Christ. Michael died in New Bilibid Bil Prison in May 2005, and so he has gone home before me. So why have you written your new book? And to whom do you think will benefit from reading it? The book has been written for Christians and religious people who've never been in trouble with the police or lived in the margins of society. I show that it doesn't matter how bad you've been in the past, once you've had an experience of God, believing in the Lord Jesus Christ after the new birth, your life can be turned round for real good. This is clearly demonstrated in the life of King David, for God forgives sins. I also believe the book will be valuable for pastors, teachers, preachers, Christians, for students, going to college and on to university, including musicians, artists, poets, giving them inspiration for their ideas. OK, tell me more. Let me pull over and I'll tell you. Yes, Dad, tell me more about your new book. Well, Michael and I were notorious criminals in the 60s. We were mods and we were in prison together in Canterbury for malicious wounding and carrying a firearm without a licence. I went on to Dover Borstal and Michael to Mates and Prison. I really am talking about my generation. When will your book be available? It can be ordered now and available from October. It's also available from our publications office in Fairham and our website. Also from Amazon, Google and eBooks from iTunes and Kindle. Are you available to speak to people about your book? Yes, I am available to speak anywhere in the UK and abroad to tell the whole story. Would it be helpful to get feedback from those who've read your book? Yes, it would. In fact, I'm offering a free PDF copy of the book for anyone who feels able to constructively criticise and evaluate it. I believe the doctrinal content is good, it opposes Arminianism, and is challenging, and also my experience is valid. Don't forget to tell your friends about the book and suggest that they get their parents to buy it, as it may help them to understand their children.